Hello guys, remember me? I'm Orbator, your Welsh engineer, and welcome to Kerbal Quest Part 17. Valscan and No Man's Sky on Eve. Oh yes, what will happen here? I don't know. <laughs> I've only just decided on that title after just quickly putting all this together, and the reason why I rushed editing this is because I was playing No Man's Sky, obviously. But anyway, this is the first mishap. Um, yes. I, someone asked me to uh, find the anomalies of stone of Valhenge on Val, so I decided to send a scanning satellite so we can find the anomalies, so we know where to go. However, as you just saw, we damaged the rocket as we went up. So that means, well, I was wondering, could I uh, get this to survive? Obviously, we had enough fuel to get to Jewel, but do we have enough fuel to get around orbit in Val? And here's a tip, by the way. If you want to go to a planet, a uh, moon like Val around Jewel, first off, do a flyby of one of the moons. Get the orbit as close as you can using that flyby. And that's what we're doing by here. We're using the gravitational breaking effects of Val, because we're going around the opposite side of Val. If we go on the other side of Val, on, on the way it's rotating around the Jewel, then it'll pull us faster around Jewel. But this is slowing us down. Uh, of our orbit around Jewel, and there's Jewel itself. Ah, oh, this this uh, or oh, not texture pack is it? It's the Eve, um, astronomer, uh, whatever you call it, enhancement mod, environmental enhancement mod, and the tech the well, it makes everything look beautiful, the clouds and everything. I suggest you have it if you've got a beefy enough computer. Anyway, obviously I'm going to get into orbit around Val because. <laughs> And good at stuff like that. Well, actually, I can get much better at this stuff. As I set up my maneuver node to get close. And let's read some comments from Joe Alberta. I tried, and happy face. I replied to him, you made it though. And he's on about his landing on Moho. It took several attempts and several uh, quick saves and quick loads. We barely had enough fuel to land. Well. If by landing you mean crash landing, then yes, we land it eventually <laughs> after several spins. And then he goes on to say, Moho trembled at m in my presence. That landing sort of hurt me, by the way. I was very sorry about that, but uh, it couldn't be helped. Uh, from Kurt Barker, wow, I am early in watching the video he's on about. I also landed on Moho. I used asparagus staging stage transfer stage to get there it took me 3545 meters per second to slow down at moho so i had a little fuel left to get home but after six fine hours of work i got a successful mission it was really a pain because six hours was really a waste of time but it was just for the successful feeling Yes, I think that's more of the point, really. You know, in most tasks in life, you know, you build something that looks cool, just a piece of art. It's not the piece of art, it's the successful feeling of making that piece of art. You know, you prob most people probably don't care about the art after they complete it. They just think, oh, that was a success. Well, you Obviously, you don't want anybody to destroy it or whatever, but yeah. All right, these are donated spacecraft to me from a Dr. Bones Gaming. Now he's on Kerbal X, so go search him out. The, all these are EVE modules. Obviously, I said No Man's Sky on EVE. And obviously, where am I going? EVE, of course. Why am I saying that so many times? Anyways, give me four modules all together. They sort of build a base. I decided I'll send two, see what happens, see uh, what hilarity ensues, because obviously that happens. Things go wrong, and things did go wrong with this one. I did a little modification, the separatrons on separating there. I didn't include the first launch because I thought, well, uh, by God, I've got, I haven't got much time to do this episode for it to come up on Sunday. Anyway, as we're preparing for landing, and I'm guessing where the land is by here, by the way, I'm going in and out of map view to see if I can see the land flash up before the clouds disappear. <laughs> it's a bit of a cheating. I should have sent the scan set, and that's what I'll have to do later, uh, a later episode. Anyway, from Syed Razim. Hello, Orator. Can you make a series on Subnautica? I really like that game. 
I had to apologize for him that uh, since No Man's Sky came out this Friday, just gone for PC by the way, and I find the game really good. I'm all about the game, not the running of the game. It was running all right on my machine. If you have problems, go and see the support page by the way first before you uh, write off the game. Make sure that everything on your PC, don't forget, this is sort of like a ported game from PS4 to PC, so. However, it should run on PC, theoretically, things do go wrong. Anyway, let's reveal the modules. And obviously he's added wheels, which makes things a lot easier. And I love the way he's put those wheels there on the bottom, where they're connected via a docking port. It looks awesome, you know, it looks like you can exchange parts and everything. Anyway, let's get back to some comments from Addison Unsworth. Can you create a video talking and linking us to all of the mods? That's a very good idea, actually. Um, I haven't got time to get to it, especially with No Man's Sky. Oh, really, you want to play more of that? You know, I'm doing this video and I'm thinking, uh, is there a way I can do more No Man's Sky? I won't have enough time tonight. Damn it, I'll have to do some on Sunday. Damn it, I've also got a Kerbal video to do. Oh, what am I going to do? <laughs> yeah, so um, I do put the mods in a thing, but in the description of these videos. But also, I suggest you download and install, well, download CCAN. Have a Google it or YouTube it. It's people have already done it. It's an awesome sort of add on that you automatically looks at the mods. It you know puts what mods they are, what is compatible with the version you're playing. And if there's updates as well, so you can keep them updated. So that's all I can say for that at the time being. If I can, I will do a quick video on going to the mods. It'll be sort of hodgepodge, you know. Right here, I'm doing this. So there we go. And oh yes, no, don't do that. Oh, you idiot. You've destroyed some things. Was it in parachutes I destroyed? Can't remember. Yes, I couldn't work out how to do the landing procedure for this rocket. So I decided, bugger it, I'll, whoops, yes, jettison that, you idiot, and <laughs> engage the other parachutes. I will find out what happens anyway. Anyway, from Christian, we go. Hey, Orbiter, can you, you can just call me we go. Okay, we go. <laughs> it is easier. Next time, Mark II of the space station should be available. Nice video this time. As always, carry on, best regards. And yes, thank you for that space station, that uh, circular space station. If you haven't watched it, it's in the last episode. I suggest you go and see it. It's awesome space station. Also, he's on um, Kerbal X if you want to download that craft. Although it's frame, per it, it it tasks your computer running anything. <laughs> anyway, from Fancy Fancy Freak four three zero four. Hey, operator. Don't have anything constructive or useful to add here, but I want to say hi. Hi! From Gabe, uh, from Tam5005. The translation was good, but the accent was like never hear, never heard before. <laughs> Spy Vice, yeah, he gave me something to say in Dutch, I think. Which, uh, oh no. What have we done here? Oh yes, that's right. I tried to time fast forward. Do I can't time fast forward to this. I thought it was just done a full four times acceleration. I will find out in the next episode. In, uh, next episode, in the next tra landing. I was just going to land this one and say, hey, I tried it, it worked. The other one we'll do next time. But by great, we'll, we'll go with this one. We'll land the second module. Oh yeah, and did you see that? Flying off through space? The Mechab unit just went whizzing off into space without any regard for... Uh, for physics <laughs> and that was from that failure of the parachutes because that mech jeb unit was on that unit on that uh, spacecraft coming down into into eve's atmosphere now that's no man's sky tech for you yeah and that's why i call it no man's sky because the look at that purple nest all the different colors and everything on this planet it does look so no man's sky ish oh, and tam 5005 says, also, almost forgot to say that you pronounced my name wrong. It's Tam. Uh, Tam Vive. 
zero zero five. <laughs> okay, Tam Vive zero zero five. Okay, awesome. Thanks for correcting me there. Hey Orbiter, I'm from Gabem. Hey Orbiter, could you take me to Valhenge? I'm already at Val. Yes, this is the guy I'm trying to find the anomaly for. With us that sat nav, it's Ganny at the moment as we're landing these. From Craig Bissett. Hey bro, I love your videos. I got bored of KSP when I couldn't do anything, but your videos and tutorials got me back into it and introduced me to some awesome mods. So thank you for all this. Also, what mod do you use to make Kerbin have clouds? And try to look awesome. Keep up the good work. I literally learn something new every time. Cheers, man. Okay, the mod I use is Environmental Enhanced Mod. It's part of a pack which I downloaded. It was Eve Astronomer Mod or something I can't remember off by heart. I I listed the description as Environmental Enhancement Mod, so that's the one that gives you the clouds. Although you can do loads of different settings for it. From Viper 2 c thanks for the current videos. I first saw this game being streamed on a little website. I got a hangout of it. I used to hang out at oh, years ago, sorry. Whenever it streamed, which was early beta, there was also face cams of two people and they were discussing a plethora of space related things. I almost thought this was a type of simulator used by NASA, not a real game. By the way, I love playing the game as well. I have a few videos up, but I usually forget to record because I'm having too much fun. I think I checked your know, thing, I didn't have much time, I just quickly clicked on the link. I can't remember what it was like now, actually, say so, talking about it. And another time acceleration. Balls to it. And look at all that debris going around the system. That's going to duel all the time. Anyway, and he goes on to say, I readily use veg vegetarian staging or asparagus. Do you ask, guys? You mentioned it in your station building vids. You were the first that I found this out from. Thanks again. No problem. And thanks. I'll go and check out your channel again because you know, I like to do that sometimes. See some new people because normally your YouTube is spammed with you know the popular youtubers so it's hard to find the new youtubers basically from bite size loving them tacos no problem anytime no one here says hey operator are you interested in buying my soul for five million euros damn it if only I you know if I didn't have a soul perhaps I would but unfortunately I have my own soul uh, Damn it, I've only got space for one. Sorry. From Dr. Bones Gaming. Hey Orbiter, here is the Eve base that I have built for Eve. It has five modules to launch up. And he lists them all in my uh, thing, so in the last video description, so if you want to look for that. And thank you for them, I'm using version 2 now. The others will be launched at a later date. From Spellmaster45. Hey, do you like Star Trek? Of course. Who doesn't? Or if you're one of those Star Trek or Star Wars fans, nah, bugger that. I like both of them. But I'm more shifted towards Star Trek because they always talk about science and it's always a bit more story driven, I suppose. Uh, Star Wars is more theatrical and sci fi ish. Although Star Trek is sci fi ish, it's a bit more, I think, uh, pinged in our video. By the way, I reloaded this. This is the first module landing again. I forgot to mention that. From B from Vias Humon. Oh, I know. You could try to build a sub to explore a lot coral. He's not about the coral I found that existed under the Kerbin's oceans. So yeah, I'll have to do that at some point. From PTG02. What? 2.0. And I said, woo, 2.1. <laughs> and he goes on to say, what are your PC specs? Your KSP runs so well. Well, I've got a 8-core CPU, uh, AMD FX 8-something or other. And then I've got a GeForce 980 Ti. So, yeah. All that's mainly to run No Man's Sky at the moment. Because graphics doesn't help this uh, KSP. It's more CPU driven. Anyway, Tardy Great Gaming saying, No Man's Sky is out. Are you going to play it this week? Uh, check my YouTube channel. Uh -huh. <laughs> da Dakoba 112. This is such a good series. Keep it up. No problem. 
All right, I'm not gonna jettison anything at the moment. Oh, well, we did jettison the heat shield, so hopefully this will land properly. Franco at Barker, no man's sky is out. Don't shout. <laughs> yes, I have noticed. I already bought it. It is downloaded as I was there. You know, it said less than one hour to go. Refresh page. Less than one hour to go. Refresh page. Less than one hour to go. Refresh page. Available. Download. 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 <laughs> From Bingo840. Hey, Orbiter. I just binge watched the whole series. Great videos. Can you try to fly me to a one way trip to Eve? I like my aim to be Max Kerman. No problem. I will add you. And you can see we're testing these modules. If this is a successful landing, I'll think about sending people. I think Dr. Bones wanted, he's in the space station around the sun. He wants to be returned. So yeah, I'll be doing him, sending him at some point. I have to pick him up first to send a mission to pick him up. Anyway, two more comments from Alien Boy Me. Dude, you're so amazing. I love your video so much. Thank you very much. And last one from Thermix Gamer. Ah, ha, 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 ha. It's a... It's in Dutch, I understand it. I am surprised you spelled it not too bad. <laughs> well, yes, thank you very much. That's a compliment, I think. I can read the Dutch in an awesome way. I have a Dutch friend in work. I'll have to ask him to translate it, what it actually means. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode. It's a bit shorter because No Man's Sky. What else? Anything else to, have to explain with that? Anyway, I'm Orbiter. Trust me, I'm an engineer. I'll see you again in No Man's Sky and then next week in the year, I suppose. Anyway, see you. <laughs>